Everybody, welcome to the studio. What's up? My name, I don't want to say what's up. What's up, guys? Hey, everybody. My name is Alex. I work with a video studio. Let me do that again. So I work at a video studio on Long Island in New York. I work for a company that sells health and wellness products, massagers, things like that. They gave me the opportunity to build out a studio, a video studio. And we started in a little building and then we upgraded to a very big building. And uh, the owners asked if I would be okay with fleshing out a content creation studio. And I was like, wow. I started in 2016. We moved into this building in 2017. We started building a studio in 2018. And it's been me by myself pretty much setting everything up here, the lighting, the truss, Rigging cameras, camera grip, everything, electrical, props, blah, 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 editing. So this year we have someone new starting with us. His name's Ellie Hirschko, and he's an amazing director and cinematographer as well. Uh, this week, decided to shoot a late Valentine's Day video. Usually we'll be, you know, months ahead. Um, but with the pandemic, we're going to try and see if we can squeeze out a Valentine's Day promo video for True Medic and it's been cutting it close, plus we get a lot of other projects handed to us last minute. So this week, me and Ellie, or Ellie and I, painted some V-flats. I went to Home Depot, I got some uh, insulating foam board, and we painted them. Uh, did black on one side, white on the other, so white to bounce, black to absorb. It basically gives you contrasting uh, light and a shot to add drama and mood. Uh, but after spray painting the one side, came in this morning and found that the paint had adhered to the film of the foam board and just completely fell off like a blanket. So we just quickly re-rolled the paint on and it seems to be good to go now. So that's the next big project for this week. Week one or two of January 21 is preparation and setup for this Valentine's Day video. Um, we have a nice little storyboard. So hopefully when it's done, I could show you some clips from the final product. Um, some other stuff I've worked on like today some product shots of a new impact massager from TrueMedic. I mean, TrueMedic's products are amazing. I recommend you try them all out, check out their website. I use them all the time, especially the massage chairs because they're all over the office. So yeah, that's, uh, I took some shots of the impact massager in front of our green screen. Uh, and this impact massager comes with all different massage heads. So I just shot those previously with another massager few months ago and I reused those shots and just kind of animated the heads to be floating into the massager itself. I'm gonna be wrapping that up tomorrow hopefully. Oh yeah, and last week, uh, Ellie, who's an amazing director, cinematographer, um, has his own collection of these like Frankenstein anamorphic prime lenses. And I've never shot on anamorphic before. They give you these beautiful blue flares. Uh, each lens that he has has really distinctive characteristics. So last week we shot uh, one of our colleagues who also works here, Luis, uh, just dribbling a basketball and just came up with a quick promo also for an impact massager that Trumatic sells. So it just looks so good. Um, so it's gonna be interesting shooting on anamorphics for a lot of the narrative stuff we do here because it adds drama and mood. This thing's pretty shaky. No, it's not. You just gotta stay wide. Stay wide, my friend. I figured it's best to start this now. This is our little editing room. It has everything you need to produce feature films and the YouTube contents. This is not funny. But yeah, I'm still trying to get a format for this whole vlog thing. Just trying to basically do a weekly recap to give you guys a sense of what we do here. Because there's a lot of people that have a lot of questions and they're confused. I know my mind is like all over the place. There's a lot going on. Everything's a mess. We're a little chaotic right now, so. I just figured I'd try because the projects we work on day to day are very interesting and I'm sure a lot of people uh, could learn a lot and also it's interesting to see how we do things here. Uh, for being on Long Island in New York, this is very unusual for a studio this, this size. Um, but we're still growing. We just opened up the other half of our studio Recently, in the past few months, we had it painted and prepped, and we had a black cyclorama built. And sometime this week, we have a container coming full of truss and lighting that we have yet to set up, and that's going to be really awesome. So hopefully, it all works out. And uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, see you next time.